so in this example, I've got an IV bag that contains 1,000 milliliters of solution, and it's set to run at a flow rate of 75 milliliters per hour. And we want to figure out how long it will take for the bag to completely drain. So again, we can do this with dimensional analysis. I know that the bag is running at 75 milliliters per hour, okay? And I've got a thousand milliliters in the bag. Uh, so, how long is it going to take me to get for the bag to completely drain? Well, <coughs> if we multiply a thousand milliliters by my rate of flow, what's going to happen? Nothing's going to cancel out. If I want to figure out how much time it's going to take, or how many hours it's going to take for this to completely drain, when I do my math, I should have hours left. And if hours on the bottom, that doesn't work. So even that, though this is how this is written, we're going to have to switch things up a little bit. This isn't, gonna, this isn't wrong, but it's not going to get us the answer that we want or get us what we need. So <coughs> if we see, if we put hours on the top and the milliliters on the bottom in my rate, Right? It's, it's backwards from what, what they tell us. Um, usually we think about the units of volume per units of time. Uh, but in this case, we want to flip it around so we can do our dimensional analysis. I see our milliliters, our milliliters cancel, and so we end up with 1,000 divided by 75, which gives me 13.3333333, or 13 and one-third and the unit that I have left is hours. Okay. Uh, and that's great. We're, we've got it figured out how many hours it would take, but if you look at the instructions, it says, give your answer in hours and minutes. Because if I just told you, yeah, come back and check the bag in 13 and one-third hours, right? that doesn't, <laughs> you'd be going like, what? What's one-third of an hour? But if we can write it in hours and minutes, it makes a lot more sense. So the 13 hours is fine, but we've got this one, this fraction of an hour that we have to figure out what it is. So if I've got one-third hours, right, we can use dimensional analysis on this again. There are 60 minutes per hour. I want the hour on the bottom, so it'll cancel with the hour on the top up here and leave me with just my minutes. So I have one-third times 60, or 60 divided by 3, however you want to think about it you end up with 20 minutes. So your answer should be, right, our 13 and one-third hours is the same as 13 hours and 20 minutes. And there we have it.